Steve Brown is back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint and a chance at a jackpot of $13,000 today on Scrabble. An eight-letter word. The clue is their heads are often in the clouds. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. Here's your host, Cut Fuller. All right, thanks, everybody. Thank you, Charlie Fuller, and welcome to Scrabble. It's a television version of everyone's favorite game. The home viewer word was sent in by Carol Acosta from Sunland, California. We have a T-shirt for you, Carol. Today, the jockpot, uh, jockpot or the jackpot, depending on whether you're playing sports or playing Scrabble, uh, the bonus sprint stands at $13,000, and today's winner is going to get a chance at that later on the show, and Charlie's going to get me off the hook with the first two players right now. She's a hairstylist. He's our champion. From Santa Ana, California, Margaret Sims. And originally from Woodridge, New Jersey, Dave Brown. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Margaret? Hi, hi. Tell me about yourself. Well, um, I'm a hairdresser and I work in Orange, and I've been married to my handsome husband. Now, you got to understand, hang on just a second before you get to your handsome husband. Everybody out there will think that you do everyone's hair in Orange. <laughs> So you better explain that orange is a Maybe place, half not a. People, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, well, I broke not your everyone. rhythm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've been married for a year and a half to oh, my good. handsome husband Mel, uh -huh. and I come from a family of nine children, and I'm the middle. And I'd like to say hi to all my brothers and sisters: Bernie, and Teresa, Maureen, Vincent, and Michael, Brenda. <laughs> You left one out. I left myself out. <laughs> no. Thanks for being here, Margaret. Good Thanks. luck to you today. Thank hey, you. Dave. How you doing, Chuck? Oh, pretty good. Welcome back. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, Dave Glad has 1,500. Well, what are you doing since they kicked you out of New Jersey? Uh, bartending. Bartending. In Beverly Hills. Basically. Ooh. Having fun. Yeah. Are guys tip big in Beverly Hills, or is no. it different? No. <laughs> Less? That's a hint, folks. That's a hint. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to play Scrabble until somebody gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble spread. Have a chance that bonus worth 13000 Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter T, Margaret. There are nine letters in the word, and the clue is some drunks are held up by them. Some drunks are held up yeah, by when them. When you think you know the word, hit your buzzer, and don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares because they're worth money. Okay, well, number eight and the three. You better be careful. This is right up Dave's alley, I believe. K and an S. <laughs> Um, the K? No, sorry, that's a stopper. Dave, some drunks are held up by them. Well, I'm in the woods right now, Chuck. Let's go for uh, number four. I thought that looked like a fern in front of your face, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> a or an S? Uh, let's go for the S. And the A. Some drunks are held up by them. Still in the forest. Let's go for five, nine. L and an R. How about the L, please? And the R? I think I know it. <laughs> you better. <laughs> Barstool. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of unfair. It was in his line of work, yeah. so, you know. Well, we don't okay, get a Margaret. Hair joke or something. Building on the letter S in Barstool's five letters in the word, the clue is some women don't mind bearing them to their old boyfriends. <laughs> Uh -oh. Well, we always feel like turnabout's fair play, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Well, let's take the five. Don't mind bearing them. And the four. U and an R. Um, take the R. Another one. Well, that's incredible. It's happened twice in a row. May work to my advantage, though. Yeah, you're exactly right, Dave. Some women don't mind bearing them to their old boyfriends. Well, this is national TV. I'll be nice. Let's go for tile number one. Thank you. <laughs> you uh, let's I. go for the U, please. And the I. Yeah, that's a stopper. Margaret, there's only one left. You're in good shape. You could make some money and everything. Well, let's go for some money. The six. And the seven. N or an S? Um, let's go for the N. Folks, if you've been watching very closely and keeping track, Margaret has picked three letters <laughs> for two puzzles, and all three of them have been stoppers. She has yet to play. We're going to play Speedword, unless you know what it is, Dave. 
Nope. Okay, to play. hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. It's up to you. Some women don't mind bearing them to their old boyfriends. Ready? Go. Ready. Margaret? Soul. Yes, that's right. Bearing their soul. All tied up. Here we go, Dave. Building on the letter S and souls. Eight letters in the word. And the clue is... Richard, ri <laughs> Richard II was one. I think not. Richard II was a famous one. Richard II was a famous one. I don't know. Let's go for tile number six and number nine. E or an N? Uh, place the N. First position in the word, Richard II was a famous one. Uh, place the E. Still drawing a blank. Number 10, number 2. C or an A? Uh, place the C, please. Stop her. Here we go, Margaret. Richard II was a famous one. Okay, well, I still don't know, but I'll take another tile. The 5. K or an A? Um, the K? Mm -hmm. um, place the A? It's worth $1,000 if you can tell me what it is right now, Margaret. Richard II was a famous one. I don't know it. Yeah, that's all okay, right. well, two more tiles. The A and the 4. Another A and a P. Um, K, well, let's go for the P. Right, that's a stopper, Dave. Well, Chuck, let's go for some money. Okay. Uh, I'll take the number one tile. A and a Y. And place the A, please. Five hundred dollars. Richard the Second was a famous one. Namesake. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. It's two to one. It's, oh, for money. I'm sorry about that. I I make more money that way. I just keep it. One, two, three, four, five hundred. There you go. Okay, Bell means we're out of time, so we're going to go back to speed. Word I've already given you in your, your instructions. You know how to play. If I could just talk, we'd be fine. Uh, Margaret's trying to tie it up. Dave's going for the game. We're building on the letter A and namesake. Six letters in the word, and the clue is... He's often mentioned on Labor Day. He's often mentioned on Labor Day. Ready? Ready. Go. He's often mentioned on Labor Day. Margaret. Lamaze. Lamaze, exactly right. In fact, I think it's Louis Lamaze, isn't it? Yes. Okay, everybody's game, building on the letter A and Lamaze, seven letters in the word. The clue is most people like to keep them at arm's length. Ready? Go. Most people like to keep them at arm's length. People. Margaret. Munches. You got it. Boy, this edged you right out. Just edged you right out, Dave. But you got, uh, what, $2,000? That's not too shabby. Okay, Thanks for playing the game. We enjoyed having you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Margaret's got it now. She's got 500. She's going to play Scrabble Sprint, and we'll be back to do that right after. Oh, you just banged through on Scrabble Sprint. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Willard. Now, Margaret Sims has $500. She's going to establish a time, and the winner of the next crossword will try to beat that time. Reminds you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And no stoppers. All the letters are good. Okay. All right. Good luck. Thank you. First word, five letters. A babe in the woods. A babe in the woods. Ready? Ready. Go. B. N. Y. A babe in the woods. Bunny. That's right. Next word has seven letters. They're just waiting for you to make a mistake. They're just waiting for you to make a mistake. Ready? Ready. Go. R. E. S. They're just waiting for you to make a mistake. Eraser. That's right. See, that's good. Right. Third word has eight letters. Big Mama. Big Mama. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Go. F. N. R. Big Mama. N. 
Roseanne. That's it. <laughs> I have a feeling the, uh, the bar residents just turned us off. I'm not sure. <laughs> Last word, nine letters. He's often on the run. He's often on the run. Ready? Ready. Go. G. H. He's often on the run. R. D. Greyhound. So you played that great. You really did. That was a good time. 26.7. Doesn't sound like it, but it was. Those are tough. 26.7 is the time to beat. We'll be back and see if it can be done. We'll be right after this. We'll be right back. Congratulations. Thank you. Sims is our champion. We have two new contestants, and Charlie's going to tell us who they are right now. She's a data entry operator. He's a singing waiter. Originally from Charleston, South Carolina, Annette Long. And from North Situate, Massachusetts, C.B. Wilder. All right. Nice to have you both here. How are you, Annette? Oh, I'm just fine. Well, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a data entry operator. I've been married for six years, and I have three lovely kids. I'm working on a special project right now, which I need this money to complete it. <laughs> Does it have anything to do with data entry? No, it doesn't. Oh. <laughs> Did you ever sit down at one of those computers, and you have data in your mind that comes up and thinks... Ooh, I just love to put this in. Oh, lots of times. Oh, sure. I always thought that. Yeah, okay. It's nice to have you here, Annette. Oh, thank Good you. Good luck to you. Hi, CB. How are you? Good. Tell me about yourself. Um, well, as Charlie said, I'm a singing waiter. Uh, among other things, I'm also a carpenter, landscaper, kind of a jack-of-all-trades type of thing. Oh, good. If you ever need anything done, let me know, and I'll give you a good rate. Great. <laughs> finishing carpenter or just a regular carpenter? Regular carpenter. If I get into the finishing stuff, it's messy. I got you. It's not okay. Pretty. Who won the toss backstage? I did. All right, let's go to the board. Building on the letter O. Eight letters in the word. The clue is, it's easy to pick up a chick there. Easy <laughs> to pick up a chick there. Okay, I'll take number nine and number eight. E or a K? I'll take the E. And the K? Stop her over to you, CB. Okay. Number one and number three. L and an E. Uh, play CL, please. Back to you, Annette. <laughs> okay, one towel, number seven. C or an E? Let's place the C. Let's go to speed word. Oh. <laughs> we got through that one quick. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Last letter is up to you. It's easy to pick up a chick there. Ready? Go. It's easy to pick up a chick there. To me. Hen house. That's right. Okay, Annette. We're going to build on the letter E in hen house. There are six letters in this word. And the clue is sometimes they get hung up in the morning rush. Okay. Let's see. Seven and six. N or an O? The N. Sometimes they get hung up in the morning rush. And the O? Three in a row. Uh, not now. <laughs> the eight and the four. S or a G? The G. Stop it. C, B. Number five. S or an H? Place the S, please. Sometimes they get hung up in the morning rush. The H. It's worth a thousand dollars. Sometimes they get hung up in the morning rush. Phones? That's right. You got it. Well, did you hit that one right or what? I'll tell you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. My goodness. Annette, you got to jump in here. It's yeah. too zip. You got no money. I want to give you some money now. Come on. Building on the letter O in phones, nine letters in the word. The clue is the farm belt. I like this. This is the cute. The farm belt. The farm okay. belt. Belt. Okay. Eleven and eight. L and an N. The L. Well, that may work for you. Let's see if it does. Uh -huh. CB, over to you. One. I'll take the N. <laughs> the other N. The farm belt. Two. 
and the nine. Let's give that a try. S and an O. The S. The O. $500 and the game, the farm belt. Moonshine. That's exactly right. Oh, boy. I'll tell you. I'm liking you. The stoppers killed you. You're yes, right. It, it just took you right out of the game. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm sorry, Annette. We do have a nice gift for you, though. It's a camera, I believe, isn't it, Charlie? That's right, Annette. The Yashica Samurai double 35mm autofocus camera zooms from wide angle to telephoto as auto loading flash wind and rewind delivers twice as many photos furnished by Yashica Samurai. It's a real nice camera. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for playing, Annette. Thank you. Yeah. You just nailed it down, didn't I'm you? I'm telling you, I'm oh, very well, surprised with myself. They all fell your way. Mm, they did. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Another 500. One, two, two three, four, five. Total of $2,000. We're going to play Scrabble Scrap. Be back for that in just a minute. Stay with us. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Hillary. It's the dancing t-shirt ad. <laughs> Little baby dance right into your hearts. Margaret, start us off on this, and Dave will, or CB, you pick it up. Sorry, okay. CB. If you folks out there want one of our T-shirts, send your clues Don't along you think with that's your a name. Small. I mean, you can hardly see that. You notice how small that is? Can you see it real well? Oh um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, send your clues along with your name and address too. Oh, is that me? <laughs> No, that's fine. It's fine. Scrabble Clue, P.O. Box 67519, Los Angeles, California, or CA 90067. We will be drawing your clues at random. Oh, no, random. no, there's, there's much more. There's much more. <laughs> we'll be drawing your clues at random, and if we read your clue on the air... Yeah, yeah, is that me? Yes, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll send you a T-shirt, and... <laughs> And by the way, one size fits all. It does. I didn't mess your hair up. No, 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 it's fine. Thank you, boy. That's a great job. I'm going to leave this with you, okay? Okay. Uh, okay, CB, all you got to do is be 26.7. Oh, is that all? That's it. No, well, it's a pretty good time, but I'll do what, what do they do? With it? They always hide these things on Oh, here. I got them right here. No, all right, I'm kidding. I got them. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> Play the same four words. Reminds you to hit your stopper. That's yes. what stops the clock. And no stoppers. All these letters are good. That is all good news to me. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Here we go. First word, five letters. A babe in the woods. A babe in the woods. Ready? Ready. Go. B. Y. N. A babe in the woods. Bunny. Yes. The second word has seven letters. They're just waiting for you to make a mistake. They're just waiting for you to make a mistake. Ready? Yes. Go. R. E. R. They're just waiting for you to make a mistake. S. A. Eraser. Yes. The next word has eight letters. Big Mama. Big. You serious? Big Mama. I'm afraid I am. <laughs> Big Mama. Ready? No. Yes. Go. S. N. R. Big Mama. N. Roseanne? That's right. I don't believe it. That's it. 5.4 seconds left for this last word. It has nine letters. He's often on the run. He's often on the run. Ready? Ready. Go. G. N. Keep going. D. They could, what happened was the end came up the second time in the thing, and they couldn't get up. You had to right. call it again. Oh. But you ran out of time. Oh, all right. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. Well, congratulations. I knew that was a good time. I can tell that you had a real good time. You were awfully close. You were probably, if you'd have had another four seconds, I think you'd have gotten That would have been just great. a little too tough. Yeah. But it's only, I think you had time to what, place about three letters, and it just wasn't yeah, enough yeah. to get Greyhound out of that. CB, $2,000. Thank you so Fine much. Fine with me. Thank you very much. Great to have you. Really did. It. And uh, Margaret's going to come back with her $1,500 and try for $13,000 right after this. So what happened was the end was in the, the previous box. And now back to Chuck Lurie and today's winner for $13,000. Two words under 10 seconds. Good luck, kiddo. Thank I'd you. I'd like to see you take this home. Me too. Six letters. 
where east meets west. Where east meets west. Ready? Ready. Go. M. Middle. That's it. Yes. 7.9 seconds. If you're on the right sink, you'll get this right away, especially with the, if you get the first letter. Okay. Seven letters. Some of them can't drive in a straight line. Some of them can't drive in a straight line. Ready? Ready. Go. L. Go for it. Yes! And I just kept thinking, boy, I hope she's thinking a driver instead of three wood. Uh, so anyway, you got it. $14,500, Margaret. I'm so happy for you. Well, that's all the time we got. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Come on. Now, stick around for awesome action with MacGyver, next on USA. Starring Chuck Woolery is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Scrabble is a Reds Grundy production.